NASCAR race on. Casey Kane had a strong run going at Richmond despite running into a little trouble early. The five car scraped the wall coming out of turn four. Kane would rebound though to get his first type of top five of the season. These numbers prove, guys, it was a breakout day for Kane and that team. In the eight races this season prior to Richmond, he's led just 89 laps inside the top five. Casey nearly doubled that Sunday at Richmond alone. Steady improvement, not necessarily out in clean air just yet. The last time Kane led a lap was last September at Talladega in October during the chase. Alan Cavana has more now on KCK. Danielle, it's an old saying, but they say if you want to finish up front, you have to run up front, and that's what Casey Kane did all day in Richmond. What's it like coming to the shop after your best finish of the season? Uh, it feels good. You know, the, the guys are all happy and excited about kind of the direction we're headed. Uh, we had great meetings today and, and have a few more still, but uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I just feel like our team's doing a really nice job of preparing and working together, and it's, uh, it's starting to show. I, I saw on Twitter Jimmy Johnson gave you some props for the good run, and then you thanked him for, for some help that he gave you. What, what was behind that? Well, Jimmy's kind of like our, our guy over here who helps all of us. Like he's, he's there for myself, for Chase, Dale. Like, we all work together really well and Jimmy is a big part of that and he's good for everybody here at HMS. It wasn't the best start to the season. You bounced back the last few races, but when things aren't going well, that can come with criticism. How do you deal with that? I mean, you can only control so many things, you know, so I'm always just trying to, you know, make myself better, uh, figure out where I'm lacking, uh, and, then, and then how do we work better as a team and how do we believe in each other. And when you don't perform, there's a lot of people that are going to criticize whether it's you know, I can't drive anymore, Keith Rodden can't crew chief, uh, the team can't do this, can't do that, but at the end of the day, we have, we have great people and great equipment, and it's just a matter of working together and, and putting the right product on the track. You've been doing this a long time. When someone says you can't drive anymore, what, what do you, how do you respond to that? I don't really respond. I just, you know, kind of chuckle and move on. I know I can, so I just know that it's all about the situation and kind of where you put yourself and how you're, where your confidence and momentum's at as well. So, you know, after the last few weeks, I think our confidence is rising on our, you know, our five teams. So I think that's good for all of us. And we're coming up to some great tracks, tracks that we've always performed really well at. So I, I think it's going to be a great uh, summer. The confidence is high, situation improving, Danielle. And he's going for his first win ever at a super speedway this weekend. We'll see if he can get it done, Alan Kavana. Thanks so much. Great to hear from Casey Kane. And did a 13-race streak without a top five. I continue to be impressed by his optimism. Yeah. And even when it is tough, Casey, you know, he stays focused. What have you seen over at the five? I I've seen a huge transition. Obviously, he's got a lot of confidence in his crew chief. And I think that Keith and, and Casey right now, they're really starting to gel. It's a relationship, and when things start to go south, you almost have to hit bottom before they start to come back up towards the top. And I think those guys really hit a pretty big lull, and right now they are really gelling. They're understanding one another. They're communicating better than, other, better than ever. The, the relationship is growing stronger, and what happens when you start to build that relationship stronger is your communication improves. And once that communication improves, you really start to break down what's going on inside that race car, and that's what they needed, and they're definitely doing it, and I think they're going to uh, make some good headway. Sometimes it's not just the X and O's. It really is the psychology oh. behind relationships. It's all personalities. It's the way that yeah. it is. You know, if 